Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I did a little bit of damage from Sephora over the weekend and I just wanted to share with you guys what I got, what I got. But before we get started, if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Jamie B. I do new beauty videos every single week. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of that goodness. And we're gonna get right into this Sephora haul. All right, so I did wind up placing two separate orders because like I ordered stuff and then I was like, oh, I wanna try these. Um, I I ended up spending a total of $220 at Sephora. Like there's just something seriously not right like up in here because <laughs> I started to do a no buy and then I bought stuff and then it has just gone downhill. But I wanted to buy a few things and try a couple of different products and different brands. So I was excited to do that. I only got, <laughs> you would think because I spent $220 that like, you know, Jamie got a lot of stuff. I did not get a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure I got like eight products total. Like, Sephora just plays me all the time. They how do eight products wind up being over $200? That's insane. I got some samples in here. I don't really tell you guys, but I got a Fenty Skin sample, which I'm excited to try this. And then I got a Guerlain. Um, this is basically like a primer, if I'm not mistaken, but it has like rose gold pieces in it. It's just like real bougie. So the first thing I have here is the Skin Fix Goodbye Eczema Eczema Care Kit. It targets eczema, dermatitis, dryness, itchy and irritated cracked flaky and sensitive skin it's tested and recommended by unbiased dermatologist hand repair cream one ounce expires 10 20 oh these like legitimately expire like they have a sticker here like bitch throw them out so it comes with it's clinical strength and steroid free which is really nice because if you guys don't know i do struggle with eczema really bad around my mouth and on my eyelids and honestly using a steroid it fixes the problem like that but it really destroys my skin. It discolors my skin and it's just not something I wanna keep using. So I've kind of chose not to use steroids anymore, but in doing so, my skin has been really, really irritated. So it comes with a foaming oil body wash. Ooh, oil wash. Dermatitis face balm, targeted body balm, and hair repair cream. This kit was $34 and it comes with a cute little bag, which I'm loving. I love the colors of it. So the reason that I got the small kit first is because a lot of things will tell me that they're for eczema and and they work on some people but just because it works on some people doesn't mean it works on everybody so I just wanted to try them before I actually you know invested a lot of money so this is the foaming oil wash this is the targeted body balm and then this is the hand repair cream which I'm gonna try right now and then the next thing is the eczema plus dermatitis face balm so I will try these and I will let you guys know my thoughts on them. So the next thing I got was the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. This is the Mini Lip Souffle Matte Cream. This was $15. I also got small ones because I wanted to try them before I paid for big ones. A lot of people say that they're really, really nice. So I just figured, you know what? I'll try these little mini ones. If I like them, then I'll go ahead and purchase the bigger ones. But I'm really weird about my lips and for it to, oh yeah, God. Someone had commented before on another video, oh, it was on the Jaclyn Hill blush collection, if the lip blush was close to the Rare Beauty formula. And I will definitely say that this is the closest to that formula. This one's a little bit more lightweight than the Jaclyn one, but it definitely has that same kind of waxy feeling to it. I'm kind of glad that I didn't get the bigger ones because I don't like, I'm not a big fan of that formula. So I'll actually try them and let you know what I think, but mm, I'd rather pay the $15 I paid for little minis than full size ones. So the next thing I got was stencils from ABH. I just, I've never tried these and I thought I would go ahead and give them a go. I don't know. They were 20 fucking dollars. So hopefully they turn out well. So the next thing I got was the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. And this is a contour stick by Makeup by Mario. And this was $28. And I got it in the shade medium. That's where all the money went. Oh my God, that's huge. This is like really, really fat. It's a real thick tube. Usually they're a lot thinner than this, so that's nice. It feels, you can hear it. It kind of feels cheap and that's all you're getting. Re like I, <laughs> why do companies do this? You wasted all this plastic for this. Mm. I don't know why it bothers me so much. I just feel like it's such a waste of plastic. Like you could have made this thing this big and it not be all that, but. 
I guess it is what it is. So this is the color I got. I really do like that color a lot. And it seems really creamy and really blendable. And I know because it's from his brand, it's gonna be so nice. But I'm just like $28 for that little, little chub. Little chubby chub of product. So the next thing I got was the new Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Heat in Hot Cherry. If you do not know, now you know. This is my one of my favorite lip glosses. I have every last one of these. Look how pretty this gloss is. Like this is so stunning and I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. It is $22 like the norm, but I have all of them and was like, I cannot pass this one up. So it's just like a nice tinted pink, beautiful color and I can't wait to wear that. I mean, I wear these like literally every single day. I absolutely love this brand's lip gloss. I love the smell. I love the formula. Literally, I cannot, I have no bad things to say about this brand and I have literally all of them. And then the last thing in this box is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Insta Brows Kit for fuller brows fast. That's a real weird way to put your logo like you can't even read this it's so weird so this comes with a brow definer and a mini brow gel for 25 dollars and i got it in the shade ebony so i originally went on there to get the brow definer but it was two dollars more and i got the mini um gel and i was just like you know what i'm gonna do it because i love their clear gel but i just really wanted a new one of these i also want to get a brow whiz but i forgot to pick it up so i will have to pick that up later so this one is like butter it's by a brand named Tr Topicals. It's a hydrating mask for dry and sensitive skin. It says smooth operator, stay moisturized, can't believe it's like butter, no synthetic dyes, vegan, green tea, a lot of other things I can't pronounce, ginseng, cruelty free, okay. Turmeric. Oh, improve the look of your skin's moisture barrier. This thick mask is packed with powerful botanicals for skin. So smooth, it's like butter. What it does, soothes, hydrates, restores. How to use it. Apply a thin layer onto the cleansed dry skin. Leave on for a minimum of 20 minutes. Wipe off with a damp cloth. I'm excited. This was kind of expensive. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this was $32 for this little thing, but I'm trying to find stuff to help with my dry flaky skin. So if anyone has used this please let me know down below is it good is it good because if it's not I'm gonna be sad I'm gonna put it on my hand just to kind of see how I've oh my god oh my god that is so nice like that okay it did feel like butter melted on my hand the next thing I got was the super goop unseen sunscreen so this is not a new item for me it's spf 40 i absolutely love super goop i absolutely love all of their products i use their hand screen i've used this one i've used their mineral one which their mineral one kind of broke me out a little bit so i went to this one i got a little one and i wanted up loving it and now i have a big one this was 34 dollars, but it's actually really really nice and it says clean chemical sunscreen for all skin types natural finish water and sweat resistant oil and non oil free and non comedogenic I like it I like this brand it's really nice it is pretty expensive I won't lie to you guys I just don't like regular sunscreen on my face it breaks my skin out it irritates me so I just use this one instead so this was kind of just like a refill for me but it is one of my favorite brands when it comes to skincare because sunscreen is so freaking important and I never used to wear it as a kid and now I'm like kicking myself in the rear because I wish I really did but I did not so it is what it is but that is it for today's video guys I hope you enjoyed this little mini haul I cannot believe $220 got me so little um hopefully these products will work out really well if you've tried any of these like skincare things that I'm kind of curious about let me know down below what your thoughts are what skin type you have so I can kind of compare and as always guys if you did like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me and I will see you guys on the next one bye